The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is, the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. I am in beautiful, you can see I am in beautiful South Carolina, and I don't have a Bible with me, so whatever I do, I gotta do it from my head. But the wages of sin is death. That's why death came to everybody. So in God's amazing plan for you and me who have accepted Jesus Christ into our lives, how does God take care of sin if he says that the payment of sin is death? Well, he did it by killing us. Yes, we, we've been killed. The whole thing about the Christian life is that what happened to Christ happened to you. When Christ died on the cross, you died with him. So God's wisdom was to kill you. Because you and I deserve only one thing. We deserve to be killed. Because we are sinners through and through. As a matter of fact, we are born as sinners we're born with what is called a sinful nature, which is a, which is a sin-producing motor. But let me ask you a question. That was the end of Romans. Now, I think it's in my mind. Go to Romans, go, go to Romans 6, verse 6. Go to Romans 6, verse 6. It says that he that is dead is justified from sin. Now, what does the word justify mean? It says, he that is dead, find it for yourself, is justified. What does the word justify mean? The word justify means that to make innocent. It says, he who is dead is innocent from sin. Now, how can that be? How can that be that an innocent man is innocent from sin? Very easy. You've seen a corpse in a casket? You've been to a funeral? Does a corpse swear? Does a corpse kill somebody? Does a corpse, does a corpse take drugs? No, why? Because he's dead. So a corpse is innocent from sin. As a matter of fact, a corpse a dead man in a casket is the, is the most innocent man there is. He has no sin. He has no anger. He has no bitterness. He has no sickness. He's dead. So now you're innocent. The wages of sin is death. Yes, my friends, the wages of sin is death. And that's why Christ killed you with him. He killed you. And when he killed you, he paid... He paid for the penalty of sin, but then he freed you by making you into a corpse because a corpse is also the freest being in the whole world. And now the one that you have living in you is Christ Jesus in his resurrected state. Isn't that beautiful? So remember, the wages of sin is death and that's why Christ has killed you. But now that you're dead, you're innocent from sin because you're free from sin. Oh, let me just say this. So that, so that you don't get mixed up. You're freed from sin because you're a corpse, right? Now, that means that your sinful nature, your sin-producing motor was crucified with Christ. Now, why do you still sin? You sin because of the habits of sin that the Holy Spirit has to purify you from. But the sin-producing engine is gone. So therefore, you're innocent from sin in Jesus' name. Amen.